Don't worry, I'll make this one quick, okay? <laughs> Man, these past few ones have been pretty heavy, but uh, we got some more heavy topics, but at the same time, maybe I'm a little bit more fired up because I've just taken some time in between posting the last video and recording this one to just try to get in the right headspace for all this stuff because it's pretty fucking dim right now, but at the same time, you know what? All you can do is control your response to the situation, and that's what's really actually important, you know? How you look at this stuff, it's, it's fucking dark, it's bleak, it's, it doesn't look very promising for the future for people who are you know, like-minded. You don't even have to be on the same side of the political coin that I am, but if you like individuality, freedom, self-improvement, all that stuff's under attack right now, okay? And I'm not advocating being a fucking victim or anything. I think that that'd be just a stupid way to go about things. What I'm saying right now is... We need to figure out what the fuck is going on, move forward as best as humanly possible. And what we're seeing right now, the next wave of people, ugh, they are not going to be helpers. They will not be sympathetic to our cause. A study finds majority of college students think the government should punish hate speech. This is funny, right? An overwhelming majority of students in the University of Wisconsin-Madison, oh, don't worry, they overwhelmingly voted for Biden, so that means, uh, yeah, they'll just be using Twitter and go ahead and uh, probably just eating themselves eventually. They think that the government should be able to punish hate speech, whatever that means right now, because in the future we know that'll mean probably something different and it just keeps expanding and expanding and yeah, until you have a definition where it's everybody who is whatever you don't like, okay? That's what happens when you aren't specific with your words. An online survey of 530 undergraduates conducted by the Tommy G. Thompson Center of Public Leadership. Oh boy, these are your public leaders. In partnership with the University of Wisconsin Survey Center, asked students, how much do you agree or disagree with the following statement? The government should be able to punish hate speech. Pretty straightforward. More than half, 63%. Oh my fucking, that's just not like half of students. A little better than half. 63% said that they would agree, 29, 29% <laughs> disagree, and 6% were unsure. Wow, wow, 70-30, okay? It's like these kids were never introduced to this thing called the Constitution, which there's a First Amendment there that guarantees certain rights of speech in the public forum, but, mm. oh, so what constitutes hate speech? is very subjective and a hot-button issue on college campuses. Left-wing activists are constantly trying to expand the ambiguous term, or what the ambiguous term includes, statements that veer from leftist orthodoxy on issues such as abortion, gender, race, and immigration are often, often deemed hate speech. Or whenever you're winning an argument, you, the other person will just go ahead and say that uh, you're using hate speech, you're being mean. Eventually, it'll just be mean speech that gets lumped into hate speech because, I don't know, you're taller than them and then you're somehow a shortest. If you're debating against somebody shorter than you and if you're somebody taller, they can justify it that way. Or if you only have a certain amount of oppression blood in you, then you won't be you see how fucking retarded it'll get. But remember, it only started when they were just coming after your heavy metal records. Oh, you're being sexist. <laughs> I think we can all kind of figure out where those seeds were laid to begin with. In fact, 40% of students agree that the government should be able to restrict the speech of climate change. 40% of people think that um, an inconvenient truth was a documentary and not a propaganda piece. And 50% of students believe the government should be able to restrict the speech of racially insensitive people. Ugh. Okay, I'm not racist. You're not racist. Probably. I don't know everybody who subscribed to the channel. Maybe there's some people who hate watch from time to time. I don't think that my channel is big enough and I haven't been around long enough to really pick up a fervent amount of haters and anybody who disagrees with what I'm talking about, you can go fuck it. No, I, I jest, of course. But do I love a good a joke about how do you babysit black kids? Yeah, I, that's fucking hilarious. Or how many Ukrainians does it take to screw in a light bulb? Or just assuming that I'm a drunk because I'm significantly Irish. Like, I, I could give a fuck. Okay? 
but no, um, some people who would be offended for some other people might get offended. So we should probably just tell every that half of people think that other people should shut up. Oh boy. And an unsettling 53% of employers' religious beliefs, oh, believe that employers' religious beliefs should give way when it comes to providing goods or services such as contraceptives or abortion coverage that violate their religious beliefs. Why do you want that covered to begin with? Can't you look after that yourself? Stop taking loads or just fucking bust in her face. I don't get it. What, what? Why do you need your employer to pay for that stuff? Just take it in the ass like a good girl or jerk off in a sock. I don't care. The report says that these results show that many students find it difficult to distinguish between, on the one hand, the moral concerns of speech or activities that are contested or even detestable, and, on the other, the long-run value derived from free speech and re religious liberty. Oh boy, so the next fucking generation is just going to be as shit as the one that's currently in power isn't that a fucking great thing to look forward to but at the same time okay so 63 percent of kids think that hate speech should be punished i wonder what they're going to think about this okay biden calls holly and Cruz nazis uh you think that they'd consider that hate speech no of course they wouldn't uh old sniffy grandpa is definitely on their side so they wouldn't have a goddamn problem with this Okay, uh, let's get into this because, oh my god, oh my god, I'd, I'd seen this and this was going to be how we close out the previous video, but that video just ended up getting out of control in and of itself. So, okay, here we go. President-elect Joe Biden implied GOP Senators Ted Cruz and of Texas and Josh Hawley of Missouri are Nazis on Friday in remarks in the Capitol complex riots two weeks before the unity president takes office. Oh yeah, those claims are way the fuck out the window now. I think we covered everything that he said yesterday in result in regards to what happened at the Capitol building and everything that he's been talking about and everyone that's been going to be surrounded with that entire administration has been talking about vengeance and wrath, the likes of which you've never seen before. Here's what he said. I think they should be, oh, they should just be flat beaten the next time they run. Oh boy, physically or uh, <laughs> when it comes to politics, because I don't think um they're not going to be physically accosted. Let's just put it that way. Is that the nicest way I can put that? And, or perhaps the most opaque way I can phrase that? Biden said rather than demanding the resignation for opposing certification of the electoral results that fueled Wednesday's demonstrations. Oh, don't worry. You have a couple of House members who are already drafting up that legislation, Cory Bush, and it's been seconded by AOC. So let's see if that goes through before or after the impeachment proceedings on Monday. You're part of the big lie. The big lie. What, the one that you're telling that you're the most popular president of all time? Probably that one. President-elect continued an apparent reference to a Nazi Joseph Goebbels. Interesting. Biden previously used the same comparison to characterize President Donald Trump on the campaign trail. He's sort of like Goebbels. Biden said of Trump on MSNBC in September, you say the lie long enough, keep repeating it, repeating it, it becomes common knowledge. So for somebody who likes to plagiarize a lot, he's probably just fed these lines and um, told to make these uh, vague descriptions of people because he's always calling for unity on one hand and then on the next uh, immediately comparing people that he doesn't like and doesn't politically align with to uh, some of the worst people in history. The big lie was an idea first espoused by Goebbels and German dictator Adolf H. Word. Am I allowed to say Hitler? I don't know. I'll probably get thrown off for whatever fucking reasons. Anyways, in the early 20th century, across, across Nazi propaganda, first coined in Hitler's book, Mein Kampf. If you tell the lie big enough and keep repeating it, people will eventually come to believe it. Yes, there is no evidence of widespread voter fraud. Now, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram has told me so. I know I believe it. Cruz condemned the comparison, but that poor fucker is going to have to get a, I don't know, Pope mobile to go to and from his fucking residence in Congress. Make it big enough for Josh Hawley and the four other senators, five other senators, sorry, that uh, objected to Pennsylvania and the four other ones that objected to Arizona. It's not like what we just seen last night definitely isn't the uh, Reichstag moment of the Democrats, but um, <laughs> leave that comparison for future videos. But perhaps Biden's just mad because he's not going to have one prominent guest at his inauguration because Trump announces he'll skip inauguration according to the USA Today, and it's been widely reported, and um, yeah, it predated all of the slander that was going on for Trump. But he said that he'd be honored to have Pence there. Of course, a spineless, toothless Republican 
President Donald Trump confirmed Friday that he was oh that he has been suspected for weeks he will not attend Joe Biden's inauguration later this month yeah um no doubt he actually posted this to Twitter back in the old days when he actually had a Twitter account for all of those who have asked I will not be going to inauguration on January 20th that was the tweet that was out there I seen it this morning I just chuckled and laughed because obviously if somebody is fucking you in the ass without lube for what three months why the f fuck would you hand over the keys to the castle honestly they're pulling every dirty trick in the goddamn book on this guy right now now i couldn't go down to the protest on the 6th i got a border to cross i got a fucking half a continent to cross in order to get there legitimately if these fucking lockdowns weren't going down like they are right now and uh that's another video for i don't know i don't know when this new cycle is going to slow down but um most of canada is completely locked down so it's practically impossible unless i was an elected official and then you can just fucking jet set across the globe and then just come back and go i'm sorry and just make it all fucking go away but going forward Rumble's been good to me. Parlor's been very good to me. I will be using those very, very, very powerfully moving forward. Kind of talk myself into a corner there as much as I possibly can. I will be fighting and advocating for freedom and free speech like I always have, but I will be doing it double time. Uh, this is going to get fucking powerful moving forward, okay? This is going to get organized and marshaled, okay? Free speech is important to me. Individuality is important to me. Making yourself better every single day is the core tenet of my being. And we went through this yesterday, how we can approach the next four years. And I will repeat just a little bit of it again. You got to double down on what makes you great. Figure out your weaknesses, work on them, figure out your strengths, make them even stronger. Ask yourself what you're doing on a daily basis that is profoundly fucking up your opportunity to succeed. And you will find that answer very quickly and just stop doing it. Make those changes. There's a million resources out there and I don't know what kind of reach I have. If you guys are watching this and need a hand with that stuff, feel free to reach out because I'm always here to help and you know, I might take the evenings off when it comes to social media and even just answering comments, but whenever I can get back to you, you goddamn bet your ass I will fucking reach out and try to help anybody because that's what we're going to have to do moving forward. There's a lot of people who are reveling in the fact that they're winning right now. They don't understand the power that they are invoking. I'm not saying that this group, that this movement is going to enact any sort of revenge. I think that, that is fucking foolish what we're seeing right now. People galvanizing, people are angry. Angry. People are upset at what the fuck is happening right now because we didn't see this when our side won in 2016. What we seen were some goofy mean memes at a bunch of people just sitting there crying in the streets. I don't see any crying from this side right now. Okay. I see a bunch of people thinking what the fuck they can do better and what the hell the next four years holds for us. It's going to be a long time. It's going to be a tough two years for sure. Could be a tough four years if some. Uh, the laws don't pass and some reforms don't make their way out into the proper legislature, but we're not done yet, guys. They might come for you in a digital sense. They might try to take whatever's close to you. If you make yourself better, you make yourself smarter, you make yourself faster and stronger, they're going to have a goddamn tough time trying to take it. Now, either good morning, it's Saturday, or enjoy the rest, the couple hours you might have left here on this Friday evening. I'll be back at you tomorrow. We'll be talking probably about something that goes along these lines because who the fuck knows what's going to happen in the next few hours. But I know how I'm going to approach it. I'm going to try to find out the truth and let you guys know my opinion on it. Present you the facts as I see them. I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.